Hey friends, let's blast through today's editorials. Stop the steal is working. Trump's voters might not seek his return if they had been treated honestly the first time. Biden has plenty of time to bounce back. Trump's polling lead is probably real, but so is Mitt Romney's in November 2011. Next, Jewish students meet hostility at Yale. The university-backed event promotes denial and justification of Hamas's atrocities. Will Re Republicans defend the court? Democratic subpoena threats target friends of the justices. How we work rose and went broke. The company's failure is a lesson in the risk of easy money investments. Uh, we've seen that many times. Tennessee's racial podiatry rule. This is interesting. A lawsuit takes on race preferences for seats on state licensing boards. Social justice is injustice. Support for Hamas derives from the fashionable idea that power determines what is right and wrong. Hey, guess what? In Colorado, power of our attorney general, Phil Weiser, determines what's right and wrong here in this state. What's the big deal here, folks? And you know what I also learned about our state? There is nothing in our legal profession here that has to do with ethics, the morality of right and wrong. We have nothing like that in Colorado. Crazy. Next, the black left's allies from Stalin to Hamas. Totalitarian regimes have long sought propaganda opportunities in America's racial tension and unrest. COVID becomes an excuse for crime. The focus on comparing 2019 and 2022 rates obscures how bad policy is worse than violence. And then finally, AI is now cooking, but it shouldn't be overdone. Okay. 